Good day, everyone. My name is Ease Wordsmith. Sorry for the wait and the delay. I am in your debt. Sorry that I was AFK for this long. But if you are new to the channel, please subscribe, like, turn on the post notifications, and you know, support me to get. 1000 subscribers in 4000 hours and I hope you're going to enjoy this video as you can see from the title so info let's dive right into it bah! hey guys anyway so I have been busy for a couple of time but let me jump into the video let's take a couple of seconds to witness my masterpiece two hours later thank you guys for waiting that long um so we've came to what we want to discuss with you new players today if there's new players if it's old players if it's just players who want to know if i know my stuff can you can stay around. So, this is the town. This Iron God. This is the town of the infamous Faison Idol RPG. And I'll discuss what happens in the town because, yeah, I'll just discuss it. So, these three things you open when you start a game. Like, you open Hall of Heroes, Magic Quarter, and Leaderboard. All of Heroes. This is where you can unlock here. Sorry, unlock here. I'm going to Heroes equipment with Void Crystals. And you have no shields power for this hero. I'm upgrading with Shields of Power. And Hero Awakening is still locked. But this is basically this this is basically all about heroes. And what they do, how they do, and why they do. Secondly, Magic Quarter, your guardian section. This is where you train your guardian, you enlighten them, and you you evolve them. Um, you will get a fairy first, and then when she is when you level her up to level ten and you evolve her, you will get the dragon, obviously. <clears throat> then secondly is leaderboard. So leaderboard. There is two very distinctive ways to measure where you are. Global, so when you want to feel poor poor. And the server that you're on, meaning it's R2 Games, is Steam or other servers, then you can match yourself with that. Like my ranking is 621. I'm still young. I'm still young, but I'm old. <laughs> anyway. You can view them via level, max states, total power, missions, personnel, or guild. So yeah, that is um, leaderboard. Anyway, uh, the th second thing is Temple of Heroes. You unlock this when you reach sorry, stage 45. So what this do is you'll be able to prestige here meaning you sacrifice your upgrades stage progress and gold but you keep your gear enchanting may progress items in the bag resources on the and all other currencies so this basically see prestige basically basically give you more total gold earning after you made the quite a couple and then you prestige all, all of your five stone then you'll get a hefty quite some in the next one so it is it is worth it second thing is eternal magic here you can buy eternal magic with prestige and coins for the next one the library you open it stage 49 
So you remember the eternal magic? This is where you use it. You need one eternal magic each to unlock the first tree. As you can see, my first tree is not yet fully, not half, but I'm working to it. Then that's a firestone research. The meteorite research. You get research. You get meteorites while you're playing. It was just for from the sky because that's what meteorites do for from the sky obviously so you'll get meteorites and as you can see my free run isn't so tough but the two most important things is that people say is a tech prestige and gold so you first need to focus on gold, a tick and proceeds. Then you can go in club or anything else. There is Hall of Heroes, Temple of Eternals, Magic Court, the Library, Leaderboard, Map. It just goes open. Like, you'll see it once you see it. But you don't need it. I don't think you need the exact thing of Map. But since it's part of town, um. I'll tell you about this in another video, but yeah, that's the map, not Dora the Explorer, the map, the real map of Iron God. Second, secondly, you unlock the tavern, which is at level 15. Um, what the tavern does is you get a chance to I have a couple of beers, so at level 15 you'll get 500 beers, but as you play you'll get more beers and then luckily if you have 1500 beers or you have just games that lays around, then you can buy yourself a couple of tokens and with that you play Russian Roulette, yeah, but yeah, basically, uh, you play until you gain a lot of cool stuff. But anyway, this is the tavern and what it grants you. There's an ancient artifact that you can gain. You can gain once you collect this whole wheel. You gain an ancient artifact. There's a couple of ancient artifacts, but I'll talk about that in somewhere else sometime. So, <laughs> then at level 18 you will get a guild. Guild is a lot of cool stuff and you will get a lot of stuff done with a highly ranked guild. Don't choose any guild. Choose a guild that you know can back you up. That's what you want to do, basically. Get yourself the right guild. Um, Bank is just how much you deposit in a guild. You understand? So it is, it is, it is important to donate what you do so that you can upgrade your tree of life. Uh, guild mm, exotic merchant you unlock at level thirty. So what did exotic merchant? Do is you can sell your sell you can sell your scrolls and your banners and runes and armor and agony and annihilation and if you want you can sell your parts of your gold then you'll get exotic upgrades where you later on can upgrade the stats furthermore you understand then once you reach level 65 you will get emblems of courage which you can later then exchange for chests my advice go for the epic chest because since for legendary seal contains two rare and one epic for inventory items for gear items so 
at least this is at least that so it can be too epic and too rare it can be but it, it, it must have at least one epic and two rare so it's a win-win situation I would advise you to go after that talk like you running from the cops for a black guy I'll put it in your head. <laughs> this is Alchemist. I haven't unlocked it, but from what I've read in the news and everywhere, <laughs> Alchemist is when you reach level 120 and then you can transmute stuff and then you can upgrade your chest from if you have common, then you can get upgrade them to uncommon. And you know, if you have rare, then you can go to epic. So that that is what the alchemist does. It is it is just that. It is awesome. It's amazing. It's level 120. So what do you think? What do you mean, bro? Anyway, um, yeah, that's that. Um, thank you for stopping by. Um, if you liked what you saw, what you heard, leave a like. Leave a subscribe and we'll see each other again. Peace.